We're going to look at multiplying out a product of two binomials and then we're going to look at filling in the missing bits just as preparation for being able to factorize. Okay, let's recap something we're quite familiar with and that is multiplying out two binomials. So x times x, x squared. x times 3, 3x. 2 times x, 2x. 2 times 3, 6. And then 3x plus 2x gives me 5x. Now the thing I want us to notice very carefully here is that this 6 we get by saying that we're going to multiply these two together, right? It's got by saying 3 times 2. And this 5, well, we get it by saying that we take the 3 and we add 2 to it. So what we're seeing is that the last term is got by multiplying these two things together and the coefficient here by adding these two together. And if we have a look at another example, so multiplying this out, we see exactly the same pattern happening over here. That this 28 is got by multiplying those two things together, so 4 times 7, and that this 11 is got by adding 4 and 7. And this is going to help us when we get to factorizing. Because if we want to know where did x squared plus 8x plus 15 come from as a product of two things? And if we know one of those binomials that multiplies together with the other to get this is x plus 3, we've got to figure out what this one is. Well, to get that x squared, you would have obviously needed an x here. And then remember what we've just noticed. This 15 must be made up of this multiplied by this. 3 times what gives me 15? Well, it's going to be 3 times 5. Or I could have done it by saying, what else I know is that this coefficient of x is this plus this. And so 3 plus what will give me 8? 5. So I could have done it either way. And even if we have negatives in our binomials, the pattern still works because when you multiply this out and then you sort it down, this 6 is still equal to negative 3 multiplied by negative 2. It gets you to the positive 6. And this negative 5 is equal to negative 3 plus negative 2. Similarly here, this negative 10 is equal to negative 5 times 2 and this negative 3 is equal to negative 5 plus 2. So, if we wanted to look at finding what is in the brackets for something like this, again, we can just use these patterns that we've observed. So, we know that it's going to have to have an x here so that you can get the x times x to get you the x squared. But to get this negative 8, You've got to have positive 2 multiplied by what to get you to negative 8? And the answer is negative 4. Or equally, well, we could have just looked over here. And we have to say 2 plus what is going to get me to minus 2. Let me just write that. 2 plus what is going to end up at minus 2? Well, what you'd have to fill in there is negative 4, because 2 plus negative 4 will get you to minus 2.